Welcome back to the show. Over the past few years, millions of people have turned to Botox to treat unwanted lines and wrinkles. This popular cosmetic procedure isn't just a favorite of movie stars and models, but people from all walks of life. Here to tell us how it works are Dr. Patrick Carney from the Skin Speak Spa MD and Stacy Matthews from the Moon and Stacy Show on KS95. Welcome back, Dr. Carney, and welcome Thank to you, you Stacy. Thank Good you. Good morning. Um, this is interesting because I was out to dinner the other night with a bunch of women and I think if you have a couple glasses of wine and a lot of women together and the conversation starts flowing, it comes around to these kinds of things. You know, your face and changes in your face. Uh, how did you get started on this path in considering Botox? Well, the funny thing about it is um, I was working at the station and I had gotten um, an assignment. I was supposed mm -hmm. to read the copy for a commercial for Skin Speak Spa and it was about this Fraxel laser. And I had had this problem with uh, my skin lately, and I thought, this is ridiculous. You know, I'm 38 years old, I've got a mortgage, and I'm trolling the aisles for zit cream. I just thought it was so ridiculous. So you were having acne issues I at was, time. and I thought the Fraxel might help. So I, as soon as I did that commercial, I immediately got on the phone and looked them up and said, what's going on? Can you help me out? I went to see Dr. Carney, and I knew he was a certified dermatologist and a plastic surgeon. I thought, this guy knows what he's talking about. So um, we met, and the Fraxel turns out wasn't right for me, but he suggested some other things. And then um, I also asked about Botox. I wasn't shy, and I <laughs> well, said, "Well, I've got you here, Doctor." <laughs> right, right, exactly. Well, I'm in the chair. Right, and you know, and I don't have a lot of wrinkles, and I know that. But no, I, because you're only what, like 35, I'm thir 38. I'm 38, uh, and I don't have a lot of wrinkles. But I have an older sister, and of course, my mother, and, I, and, and we all have the same genetics. And I and I had a moment with my my sister when we had gone on a vacation together. And I actually have a picture of her that I could show you. I asked her permission too, by the way. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we were, there she is, my sister. And if you look between her two eyes, especially on the right side of the screen above her left eye, you can see that little horizontal line, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, vertical line. Mm -hmm. um, that's what part, this half of the angry 11. Or, no disrespect for our or, friends at or, 11. Or otherwise called the dime slot. The dime slot, exactly. <laughs> and there she is smiling, but she looks like she you might be a little angry. And that's that something that is typical you see yeah. in your family because right she's only a few years older than right. you. But it was something that you thought that is going to be me. I'm going to exactly. get that. And, and I don't want to have that. And I have a teeny bit of it when I kind of, you know, went, well, now I've had some Botox, so I had a, you know, it's almost time to redo it, by the way. It's fading off. <laughs> But what we did was um, we were at this, this place and we were enjoying a band and the drummer at the end of the set actually came over to our table. We were in Mexico and he had a very thick accent so she didn't understand, thank goodness. He said, why do you always look so angry? And she said, what? What did he say? And I go, oh, nothing. And then I told her later that, hey, I'm getting Botox and now she's getting it too and she's much yeah. happier. Well, and let's talk about that, Dr. Kearney, because when Stacy came into your office, she was looking for a completely different <laughs> treatment mm -hmm. and you guided her towards something you thought was better for her skin. But then it seems like you sort of look at the total mm -hmm. patient and say, and there's some other things if you're interested in too, and she had inquired about Botox. That's right, Corbin. Stacy came in wondering if the Fraxo laser was going to be appropriate for her acne, but I actually thought that there were some other things that we can offer her as far as enhancing her already spectacular and fabulous, beautiful appearance. <laughs> so we talked about um, some skin care, uh, intense pulse light photo rejuvenation, mm -hmm. which was a treatment for um, hyperpigmented skin, and then we looked for other opportunities to enhance her beauty. And that's where we thought about um, Botox injections for the angry 11s. And then we also got her interested in considering augmenting her, her lips. So, so plumping up her lips. Yeah. And that's plumping. not Botox. That's a whole other right. process. That's right. Yeah. And I, I didn't do a lot. I just mm -hmm. I said to myself, just a teensy bit, because I'm curious and I want to know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, not the full Angelina here. That would be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Just a teeny bit. And I just loved it. How did it, what did it feel like? Is it an injection here and injections here? For, well, the Botox in the, in, yeah, is of course in this area, but mm -hmm. um, the lips, what he does is he'll numb them. And so you don't feel a darn thing. And yeah. he does the injections and then well, you're done. Hey, you know, you've, you've, he's brought along a syringe. He's, he's going to do Let's, an injection for the and... Botox um, so we can talk about how it feels. So it must not hurt very much no. because you're doing it on TV. Right, yes. I, and I was so surprised that it was not. Now, how often uh, do you go in? You've been doing this, what, since last spring? I uh, started, yeah, in the spring. When, when did we first start, Doc? Do you remember? Let me just explain yeah. what I'm doing here. This is a muscle called the procerus muscle, and we inject about five units of Botox. And then there's two other muscles 
above the brow on both sides called the corrugators. As you can see, uh, she's not experiencing any discomfort. We're fortunate that there's no bleeding. And, and if just, there is, there's not much at all. Well, we've only got a few seconds left, so there you're just going to have to recuperate all on your own. Okay, it looks that? like it's fine. It's easy, it's easy. Um, and you, you can find out more information, too, uh, on the website. Yes, um, and we're gonna, I'm going to give that to okay, them. I've great. got all that info. Thank you all for coming in today. Great job. You Thanks. were strong. You were brave. It, you know, the needle And even so more teeny. beautiful. Even more beautiful.